How do you feel about the way things have been going with our fortress so far, Brian? Do you feel like... Uh, they seem pretty well. Let's look at the date. It is midsummer uh, in the upper right there, 14th of Malachite. Yes. Uh, so we're still in our first year. We've been here uh, less than half a year. Uh, so things are probably things are going pretty well, but generally at this point in a fortress, unless you've picked a really challenging embark location, uh, things don't start to go wrong for a little while yet. It's so funny to me that in the hallway of this bedroom floor, there's just lumps of rock salt lying around. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dwarves, dwarves love clutter. Um, and in <laughs> fact, there's a, there's a whole like stone management, you know, sub wiki on the, on the, the wikis. Um, cause it's a big issue. If you want to, if you want that aesthetically pleasing fortress, um, you've got to deal with a lot of stone. That's interesting to me because so the dwarves don't really even care that there's rock salt in their bedrooms. It's more for the humans, right? Yeah. The, the human sense of aesthetics that they want the rock salt, not cluttering everything. Exactly. Oh, it's like you're not living there, humans. The dwarves are living there, and they're cool with it, so we should be too. Yeah, and and they are so cool with it that more dwarves have just shown up to our to our messy cluttered. Wait, what? Yeah, some migrants have arrived. Some migrants have arrived. We've we've got this a, is exciting. Yeah, and I think they're early, um, midsummer. Uh, I forget, I feel like migrants usually arrive in the fall, but they they can arrive year round. But you'll you'll always get almost always get at least one round of migrants a year. Uh, oh my God. Actually, in my experience, even if your fortress is a, is a total death trap, uh, people still <laughs> apparently think it's better than wherever they were. Um, Let's meet the new migrants. His, his most recent thought is, I've been rained on. I'm a little grouchy. And then redundantly, it explains to us, he is grouchy when caught in the rain. He's yeah. married to Tosid Copper Rider. Wait a minute. So Tosid is a unisex name. It can be for guys or girls uh apparently because we have a male toasted ilkadol and this male dwarf is married to toasted copyright i guess he could be gay they could be gay dwarves that's that's potentially um, a thing potentially i don't know i don't know that i've ever seen gay dwarves you need to hang out in chelsea his sideburns are clean shaven well in that case he doesn't have sideburns does he he, he keeps combs. them in his pocket <laughs> what are what are your hopes and dreams for this fortress tony um, I have two hopes. One, I kind of want to get it to the point where it's like a self-sustaining fortress that makes our dwarves happy. But I'm also sort of hoping that we're attacked by by goblins or something, and and I want to defend ourselves against those goblins and emerge victorious. Excellent. Well, we'll, we'll fret not. The the latter will definitely <laughs> happen. It's maybe not goblins. I can't promise goblins, but something it will attack us. <laughs> Ooh, thief. What? So the game just auto-paused and it jumped because we have... Uh, protect uh, the horde from skulking filth. Yes. Okay, let's protect the horde from skulking oh. filth. Where is he? Who's the fucking um, thief? I'm going to go to announcements and then I'm going to zoom. Oh, he's right there. He's a kobold thief. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a fantasy creature. I'm so excited about this. Wait, can, we, can you zoom in on the kobold? Yes. A small, squat humanoid with large, pointy ears and yellow, glowing eyes. She, don't be sexist when you assume who the cobalt thieves are. They're not always male. She has loaded a tall body. What? She, she has she, loaded a tall body with incredible muscles. What does that mean? She's she's worked to put those muscles there. <laughs> All right, let's fuck this cobalt up. Hey, please subscribe to make sure you don't miss when we fuck this cobalt up. And watch an old episode of Brian Teaches Tony Dwarf Fortress.